the ps5 pro are you getting one so the playstation 5 pro was recently announced and not everybody is happy one the price some people feel is too high although i see some other people say that the price is justified the ps5 pro does not come with it with a disk drive you have to buy that separately for like 70 dollars plus tax and the stand you have to also buy that separately i do have a ps5 the regular ps5 i was one of the lucky few that got lucky and snatched one on the release year uh basically i just uh went and followed some different pages that were doing updates basically telling people hey uh, the uh walmart recently announced that they're doing a drop around this time go over there and use your browser i don't know already have your card um information updated so when you have it in your in your cart you can just hit purchase it instead of just waiting and apply it was a lot man it was a lot this was a very interesting time uh i happened to get one um i think i got it on my browser uh and uh you know i just went on there added to my cart and then hit purchase and it actually came fast too i got it before christmas which was awesome um as of now i don't think i would be getting a ps5 pro i do have a gaming pc i run a gtx 3070 not gtx rtx i mean rtx 3070 i keep saying gtx i run it rtx 3070 um and playstation as of late have been re releasing their exclusive on pc like god of war spider-man horizon zero dawn and also i i haven't seen as of now any games that's like oh wow okay i have to get the ps5 pro so i can experience the full power of the ps5 i don't know to me i just wait for the playstation 6 unless something happened to my ps5 you know where i can't use it anymore then maybe i'll consider getting a ps5 pro because as of now i don't see a lot of reasons um some people have been doing you know videos on the power of the ps5 that the graphics uh you can basically run performance mode and fidelity mode at the same time you get the 4k and the 60 fps i like i prefer frame rates over resolution i'm not really a graphics person i just like to get i just like my games to just run i don't like having issues uh you know what i'm saying i just want to install my game and play i also prefer gameplay over graphics anyway so graphics not really something that's you know uh that's gonna drive me to get a ps5 pro so this is an article on wccf tech and uh they are basically saying that from lunch 40 to 50 enhanced titles will be available for the ps5 pro now it did not say what games specifically uh would be available but i would guess big triple a games like god of war spider-man uh island wake you know first party titles they will see um and an enhancement when the ps5 pro releases um which is to be expected like how are you gonna <laughs> release the ps5 you know and people gotta wait to have access to the full power of the ps5 if there's that much of an improvement i don't know and also uh the ps5 pro as of now are still available to purchase on PlayStation direct i don't know about other um places like walmart target best buy maybe they're waiting for november but if you go to on PlayStation direct right now um i did you can go on there and put them in put it in your cart and be good to go this one's in, this one wasn't in my car i'm gonna see if i can just add it again i'm on playstation direct right now go pre-order so there it is add to cart oh they have the is that available too yeah. okay so the ps5 30th anniversary limited edition is not there that's like a thousand dollars so you get the the ps5 pro the drive and um that special controller yeah that's sold out but the regular ps5 pro regular ps5 pro isn't that crazy uh still available you can add it to your card yeah and 
check out. Of course, you know, you have the people that still taking jab at each other on the whole console war, making fun of uh, PlayStation saying, ha ha, look, nobody wants to the PS5 Pro. Um, <laughs> you got to take into account that when the PS5, the regular PS5 uh, was released, they were having some issues. I, I think that Sony, I don't know, man. I still hold my doubt that like, really like you you guys were not prepared for the demand for the ps5 i don't know man some tell me that sony it did work in their favor in the end of the day like you know it was uh the console was in demand a lot of people want, wanted the ps5 and that cost you know the demand was high so that helped boost sell because the the ps5 was rare so a lot of people wanted it just to say that hey look at me i have a ps5 so it ended up working in their favor um was it planned mm. you i don't know i don't know i think i think that that whole situation played in sony's favor i'm not gonna accuse them saying that you know they they planned to, you know to have a shortage but i don't know um uh, but yeah there's uh apparently uh so they probably figured this whole thing out and also maybe not a lot of people want to buy uh the ps5 pro um like i said there has not been any mind-blowing video or gameplay that says okay the ps5 and the ps5 pro is not in day if you want the best experience for from the ps5 you got to get a ps5 pro um so people some people are like you know what i got a ps5 i got a ps4 I'm gonna wait for the PS6. Maybe GTA 6 will change you know, people's opinion on the PS5 Pro. I see some reports saying that GTA 6 will not be running at 4K, 4K 60 FPS. Um, but definitely, um, GTA 6 has to run in whatever mode 60 FPS because that would be ridiculous um, <laughs> if GTA 6 runs at 30 FPS at any mode on the ps5 that would be crazy but um i don't know i'm not sold on the ps5 pro what are you guys' opinion are you getting the ps5 pro are you not you think it costs too much or it just doesn't offer much as far as upgrades go leave your comments down below and i'll see you guys on the next one